Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use spline mask tools. So in this scene, I have a few primitive splines set up and you can go to those by clicking on this icon and you can choose some of these primitives. Now, if I open up this null, you can see that we have three objects, three splines, uh, primitive splines, and we have a spline mask. Now the spline mask, you can go to this icon right here and go right to spline mask. So if I go into our objects and I select them, so I'll take these three and I'll drag them underneath a child of the spline mask. You can see what happens with the result in our viewport. You can see our objects have now combined into one whole object, one whole spline. So if I click on the spline and I come down to the attributes manager, we have a mode by default, it's set to union. And we can take a look at some of the results that we get by choosing the different type of mode. So we have A subtract B. You can see how now these objects, based on its hierarchy, based on which one is at the top, how it uh, subtracts out of our square, our, our rectangle. And we can also go B subtract A, and you can see now that kind of that rectangle now cuts through these two objects. And we also have a few others like and, or, and we have intersection. Now, if I go to this second one that I have set up here, you can see what we can get if we add in a bunch of different splines that we have, our primitives, and we can get some pretty interesting results when using the spline mask. And what's nice is, is that you can further develop your design, whatever you're trying to do, a logo or something abstract, you can continue to adjust your primitives as well as having this this spline mask, it's not based, baked down. So you can adjust the size and you can adjust the, the petals, in this case of this flower, depending on what, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. And we also have this star here and we can add in some pretty interesting effects just by noodling around in some of these values that we have. You can see how this would affect your overall design. But you don't have to stop there. What you can also do is you can nest spline masks within spline masks. So if I take my spline mask here, put it in a second one, and then what we can do is we can take this rectangle that I have, and I can put this underneath our other spline mask that we have. So we have our first one, and then we have our second one, and we could put our rectangle, this new object, or whatever object you wanna use, within this spline mask, and you can see that this spline mask, if I set it to union, it will just combine, but if I subtract, say B subtract A, now we have this interesting effect where we can add in and cut through our original combination. So you can really spend a lot of time and experiment with these various different types of objects and combining them together to get some interesting results. And we can go even further than that by adding in an extrude and putting all our objects, taking our spline mask and putting this within an extrude. Now I have a setup where I have a few caps set up so we have a nice smooth round corners. But if I go back to my rectangle, again, this is all parametric, so I can slide this through and making some interesting designs or animations. And I can also rotate this object, this rectangle, depending on you know what result that I wanna have. 
So very interesting effects that we have within Cinema 4D just by using splines and keeping a parametric design, a parametric modeling. So if I go into another null that I have set up here, you can see that I have a few objects, a few primitive objects set up. Now, there are situations where you want to just bypass the masking. And if I go to my tools, excuse me, my mesh, and go to my spline, and I'm just going to peel this off by clicking on this top part of our bar. I'm just going to pull this off to the side for a second. Now, if I select, say, my rectangle and my star, and I want to bake this down into one spline, you can combine these two objects, and you can create your spline this way. And now I can go into points, and I can adjust the points as needed. So it's a quick way of adding in some splines, not dealing with the the masking, you can just use this menu here. You can see we have all the ones that we had within our spline mask, our spline subtract, spline union, spline add, or, or intersect. So you can adjust those very quickly on the fly, and you can either peel this off, or you can just go right up to the menu and adjust your splines, and then just adding in these, you know, in this case, spline union, now I have this spline that I can now use, adjust, throw into an extrude, or whatever I want to do. So we've got some a lot of options here for you within Cinema 4D to work with the spline mask and some of these spline tools. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion, and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.